All right, you're number three, and uh, so far, what's maybe been the biggest difference uh, with Coach Williams here? Uh, definitely just the intensity. You know, uh, we're going really hard every single practice, and the expectation never lowers. Um, she'll She's going to stop practice before she lets any laziness or any kind of fatigue set in, so we're really just working hard every single day. I know uh, her background at McNeese and, and you're from Anacoco. I mean, there's a little background there, history between you guys. Just uh, what was your reaction when she was named the head coach? Oh, man, I was hooping and hollering when they first told us because uh, it's always been a dream of mine to play for her uh, since I was 16 years old. I've wanted to play for her. And uh, just when uh, Mr. Todd had told us that it was going to be her, it was just I was really in shock because I couldn't believe that I was actually going to get the opportunity after four years of wanting to play for her. So it was awesome. As far as uh, offensively, what's uh, maybe different for you guys? Are we going to see a different look this year from this team? Yeah, for sure. Um, we got a lot of new guards in, so I've really had to step up my forward game. And uh, that's been a little adjustment for me, but uh, I get better every day. I don't really uh, have time to slack on that. You know, we're in the teens now. Uh, it's coming up quick. So, uh, no, our guards are working really hard just to be quicker every day and to find new opportunities for the people who do play in the forward spots. And uh, our forwards are also working hard, you know, our bigs. Um, so I'm excited to see just how we all combine together, bring it all together. As far as shooters on this team, you were one of the top ones last year. Just how much has that maybe changed or improved for you for this team? Um, no, so I definitely had to step it up this year. Um, you know, never want to be a step behind of what you were last year. So uh, just getting in the gym more and just being more precise on um, my purpose for shooting and not just to shoot. But I uh, know we have a lot of good shooters this season, and I'm excited to see how uh, we accommodate each other. This group to have eight of you back from last year, you add in the four newcomers. What's the chemistry been like? Uh, actually, five newcomers. Uh, what's that chemistry been like working everybody in together? Oh, it's been it's been good. Surprisingly, you know, a little rusty at first, but that's to be expected. But we've had a lot of fun with each other. You know, just off the court is really important. Getting to know each other and giving each other opportunities to express who they are, and then once you bring it on the court, it's. It's fun to see how we can all combine together and bring each other up. Or it's fun. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Diamond, as uh, Coach Williams takes over and the new staff, what's maybe been the biggest change you've noticed with this staff? Um, the intensity, of course, because everything's a fast pace, you know, moving around on the court and stuff. She, she likes for everyone to move everywhere fast, which is going to help us during games and stuff. You're in your third year now, one of the more experienced players as far as your time here at ULM. What has maybe uh, changed for you and how you approach the game in your time here at ULM? Um, I guess just the play of the game. It's going to be real different for me this year, and I'm excited to see what I'm going to be able to do. So. How is Coach trying to maybe utilize the, the forwards and the posts in this system? Is it exciting for you to, to get into how she wants to go with that? It is very exciting, actually. I just have to be patient with it because we're still learning the spots and stuff. So, here we go. I know intensity is the word I hear, uh, detail oriented. Just uh, how much has that maybe helped this team focus on what you're trying to get accomplished? Um, I'd say it, it helps out a lot. You're, you're all right. Now the, the, we get ready for the season. Maybe what's the what's the big thing this group needs to work on as you get ready here? We're two weeks out uh, from tipping this thing off. What's what needs to happen for this team? Attention to detail. The details is going to help us in the games. Um, the more we focus on what we're doing, the better we'll get at it. Very good. Thank you, Diamond. All right, Lauren, uh, you come into your senior year. I know Coach singles you out as uh, that player that's kind of exemplified that leadership and, and what this team's trying to do. What have you maybe done to try to seize that leadership as, as a senior leader for this group? I feel like the main thing I've tried to do is try to integrate the newcomers and try to make sure that they understand everything that she's trying to do and know their responsibility on the court and take their responsibility to the heart and make sure that they're really, really into it because that's how the coach she is. She makes sure you're you know your responsibility and that you stick with it. So that's the main part of leadership I'm doing. To bring in Coach Williams here, what was your reaction to everything that happened and, and just what's gone on with this program since uh, her hiring and to where we are now two weeks from tip-off? 
Um, I, it's really exciting. I feel like it's been excitement. I feel like she's brought excitement to the team, enthusiasm, and she's put a drive in it that I feel like we I haven't seen the year that I was here before. I feel like it's created a different atmosphere and a different chemistry on the team to make us flow in the game and it make us have wins, more wins, I feel like. It's going to be great, I think. Your role in this offense, uh, running the point a year ago and, and kind of get to be that catalyst again this year, what's that feeling like and, and how much has it changed? Um, it's, it has changed dramatically, I feel like, because I feel like I have dis different responsibilities as a point guard in this offense. So I feel like it's going to be better, though. I feel like in the dribble drive offense, it helps me create more offense for other people as well as for myself, and I think that's the best part about it. As you look at uh, this year, maybe what's the most exciting thing about this team? Uh, I think the most exciting thing about this team is going to be our chemistry. I feel like we have a special bond on this team that we haven't had, and I feel like that's going to be the most important thing in this as far as uh, just the coaching staff, the administration, just to, what's that feeling like around this team about what's gone on here over the last few months? Um, I feel like it's been great, and I feel like the main part about it is the support that we're getting from the athletic administration. Mr. Scott and Mr. Todd have been there all the way there, and I feel like that's the best part about it is to have support from different areas of the athletic administration. I know one thing, if you go back through your collegiate career to, to your community college days, I mean, you can do everything. You can score, you dish out the assists, you get the steals, the rebounds. Just what is it that allows you to be such a versatile athlete on the floor? Um, I feel like it's, it's having different areas of the game. I feel like if you focus on different areas of the game, don't just focus on one, then you can be successful in different areas. And that's what I do. I try to work on more than one area, and it makes me successful in different ways. Even to be a point guard, get in there and fight for those rebounds. Just what's, how do you work on that toughness and that ability to get in there and get after that? I feel like it's a certain passion you have to have for the game. I feel like it's a passion that I have. So the passion that I have drives me to do everything I can do for my team. So if it's that's, if that's rebounding, having toughness, being an example. I feel like serving as an example is a part of leadership. And I feel like that's what I do, and that's why I do anything I need to to make sure my team wins. What's your biggest goal as a senior this year? Uh, my biggest goal is to make sure this team is better and make sure everyone is great and doing great and continuing to better themselves. That's my biggest goal.